Okay, I'm back, and we're going to continue where we left off in Dead Secret. So, this last time I came over here, as I came over here, this piano was playing, and then when I got right up to it, it stopped playing. So, that's normal. That's kind of the way things work around here. Um, let's check out this note, though. Uh, more Crystal Cave by Bobby Sawyer. I'm going to... Do the same thing I did last time and kind of hold over it and you can pause it if you want to read it. My body's scaring me. I can pick up fireplace. I can pick that up. Sweet. And I lost tracking there for a second. Okay, yeah, I knew that. Do we got any monsters or anything around here? Ooh. Yeah, we got one monster. You stay in the corner! That's where you belong, okay? And there's something over there, too. The the, the demon guy is not, not a problem for me so far. Can we... Did I not use it? Well, what the heck? There we go. Alright, let's sweep that up. It's a series of faint symbols. Star, circle, square, yeah. Okay. And that's gone now. Just, it's like I got a weapon now. <laughs> let's smash this piano in pieces. Okay, and let's unselect that. Piano chair has been knocked over. Yep. So far, so good. Uh, national recognition for local college. I'll let you guys pause on that if you want. Hopefully it'll just tell me anything I need to know. There we go. Graham Wellington, so this is his colleague, claimed credit for a research paper that Bullard wrote. Hmm... I think that's the first time we've talked about him. I could be wrong. There's like a crow in the in the place, it sounds like. Sheet music is scattered all over the floor. Was Bullard a musician? I didn't know that. Or maybe it was Josie. Music mystifies me. I don't even know what this is. Some sort of con concerto? Concerto? There's a note. Work order, September 24th, 1965. Invoice number A764-3. Cynthia Peckman. I think that's his ex-wife. Packing labor, 20 hours, three workers, rate 125 an hour. Boy, that's a, that's a cheap rate. Estimate total, $75. I guess this is 1965, so um, I don't... I don't know my dates here, so but I'm guessing this is all the work order for moving all this dead guy stuff. Client wishes to keep large items, piano, unpacked for sale. Yeah, so this is all this shit. Do not pack contents of guest bedroom, second floor, left side. Not owned by client. Yeah, that's Josie's room. Come on. Client is still looking for key to first floor study. We'll provide by 926. All expensive looking items are to be packed separately for immediate sale. Okay. So she's packing up his shit. Dad took me to Wichita once before he died. We drove for four hours to get there, ate hamburgers, and watched a movie. Then we went home. He never explained, just told me to get in the car. I guess he knew he was going to die. Okay. That's 
a different dad than Josie's dad, presumably. Presumably, again, well, I, I don't want to get into my theories, but, uh, but anyway. Did I look into this pot? Oof. Um, so there's something over here, too. Some loose floorboards here. Probably... Okay, so I gotta pop out my, uh... Fire poker. Get the... If I can get this poker wedged under the board, maybe I can pry it up. Nice. Oh, what was it? What kind of lock is this? Star... Circle square, or... There we go. What do you... Oh, he's gone. That's more disturbing. And where's my... I want my friend back. There's the key. What was this key? Two. It's an old metal key. Oh, we got oh, we got all kinds of shit in here. That's not what I wanted to pick up. Bill, I owe you many things for forwarding my request to the New York Times. I think we have the opportunity to tell one of the great science stories of the 20th century and make a considerable sum in the process. The Times is a great first step, but when we, when we are finished, I want to have headlines written about me on the front page of every paper in the country. The key to our success is Harris Bullard's brain research. He has discovered something something fundamental about the operation of subconscious brainwaves, and I believe that he will soon harness this knowledge to build a device whose object is to make men superhuman. Our first task is to, pro uh, is to procure this device before Bullard can publicize it, and my plans for accomplishing that are already in motion. Hmm... Once the device is in my hands, I, I am confident that I can reproduce and imp improve upon his work. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you can. That, Mr. M that, Mr. Mitchell, is where you come in. An invention of this magnitude must not be consigned to the, to the boneyard of academic journal. It deserves praise and recognition from the common man. Well, it's kind of a compliment, you know. He's saying this really deserves a lot of credit, this work that somebody else did. We will make it, make it the story of the year, and then we'll sell the technology to those rich enough to meet our price. Sounds like a good guy. For now, we wait for Bullard to finish the device. Then we will make our move. I look forward to your continued cooperation in this mutual, mutually beneficial partnership. Best regards, Graham Wellington. Why does, why does this letter in this box, which this guy would presumably uh, have locked away. L... Oh. Okay. I don't get a good look at it. I don't know if I actually need to... Oh, there we go. L20, R50, L10. Okay, so I can look at it again. Now, I got a key... Is that the key to the room that they were talking about? All right, well, I guess let's go and try and figure out what this key goes to. I haven't tried this door. So this, I my initial thought was this was the, um, the lunar whatever, but I think this is uh, the weather thing. If that makes any sense to anybody. Okay. Well. Get my body lined up here. Loving the sound in here. Somebody was in a rush to pack this stuff. I'm sure it was just the movers. I'm sure that's the case. Cupboards have been mostly emptied. Well, yeah, you'd expect that. 
pots and pans, they haven't been packed very well. What is, what kind of escape route do I have here? Um, I got a door over there. Got a door here. Can't, I just look at the stove top is clean, it probably works. Okay, well, that's important to know. Not a huge fan. It seems I can go through there. Can I turn this off? There's nothing in here. We're just wasting electricity here, people. Oh. Coffee that's frozen shut. It. I can hear something rattling around inside. Maybe leeches? Maybe leeches are inside? Can I look at it? Can I turn my back on this area that's almost certainly got a killer? What do I need, like a can opener or something? Maybe I can uh, defrost it. There we go. Get that out of here. Blank sheet, of course there's a blank sheet of paper. Hmm. My guess is that sheet of paper is not actually blank. Okay, I'm done with that apparently. And I need something to see what's on the sheet of paper. Maybe I should turn on my uh, demon vision. Okay, there's something over there. No demons around. That whiskey or whatever that is. Here's the list of... Bobby, here's the list of supplies this week. I know you're angry that I haven't paid in a month, but please wait a little bit longer. I have some money coming, and I'll be able to pay you soon. Beans, cigarettes, tonic water, white bread, butter, eggs, copper wire, three feet, solder spool, vinyl tape, gasoline, butane, leeches, as many as you can get, alive. Okay, so we're getting some motive... For, for some of these characters. It's full of dishes. Jeez. Looks like they just threw them in here. In there. Alright. Let's pick up the bottle of whatever. Magic. Oh. Oh, that's... Uh, I need that. I need to put leeches in there or something. Letter D is printed on the label. Okay. I, th I think I need a couple more of those bottles. Empty bottle. One-fourth. Oh, I love going into doors. Oh, here's another note. January 2nd, 1961. Dear Harris, Happy New Year. I suppose I am wasting my time by writing you again, but the new year always makes me think about the past. Uh, I'm guessing this is ex-wife. I was very upset when you did not respond to my last letter. I was told that you refused my calls at the college. I understand that you are still angry, and for that I cannot fault you. But unlike you, I have gotten past our little meltdown I have grown to see it as the inevitable terminus of a relationship something that had to happen sooner or later like split milk oh, like spilt milk that makes a lot more sense as they say it's not worth crying over but I do have a request I will make it plain Harris I need money some of my investments went bad last year and the Kennedy in the White House soon and with Kennedy in the White House Soon the others will certainly fail. You may hate me now, but I cannot believe you will consign me to life of poverty somewhere deep down inside you under the mask you wear in your daily life, which lends to my theory. 
I know you must still feel something for me. Please say you'll you'll help me just this once. Put down the mask and trust your feelings. Humbly and sincerely, Cynthia. Okay, so she wants money, but he doesn't have money to pay off his errand boy, so... Or at least he's claiming not to. Alright, let's go get murdered. Oh. I had the key, apparently. Let's just quick check our demon vision. Oh, I can't now. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh, good. Yay, leeches! This is this is where we keep our leeches. Um, I think this door is going to lead... Oh, I got a flashlight. Or I can get a flashlight. I think this door... Oh. Fuck you, mirrors. It's a flashlight. It doesn't have any batteries. Okay. Chills up my spine. Music is kind of goofy, given the circumstance of me just seeing myself wearing a devil mask. Poke, poke, ooh, some pillows. We can review Texas. President Johnson boned up on reports. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys pause on that if you want. I'm gonna continue on. Woodcutter killed Bullard. He was pretty sneaky about it. No marks on the body, no sign of a struggle. Coroner ruled it was pancreatic failure. How do you kill a man without leaving a mark on him? And why return to the scene of the crime? <laughs> 